Hello everyone, this is Captain Thief with our new game. Guess what it is? Oh, the title's right there in the upper right. Alright then, um, yeah, Desktop Dungeons. Let's go ahead and, uh, name our, you know, kingdom, Captania. Very, uh, proud nation of captains. The story begins. This is my very first time, um, playing this, so, j you know, just so you know, I just got my account synced and all that. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders. Nomads, exiles, and vagabonds with only a handful of real fighters among them. I've been there before. Injured, ill-trained, and separate from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Desktop Dungeons. Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably the tutorial, and uh, yes, I have seen some gameplay of this, and yes, every every uh, portrait is meant to be, you know, kind of ugly. So let's see, what am I doing? I guess it wants me to move? How do I move? Do I press arrows? No, I, I gotta press over, no, oh, okay, I gotta press into the things. Let's do that. Oh wait, I only have one health left. Let's not do that. Let's go up. Yeah, uncovering darkness, more health. Don't mind if I do. Now let's go kick the crap out of this goblin. Oh, okay. That took off two of my health, but I took off five of his. This is excellent. Okay, I win. Um, let's, uh, pr okay, so this is like something I missed. Can I go diagonally? I can totally go diagonally, and I, I can't go through these walls. Okay. So, this is my first uh, experience with this game. Um, it's definitely going to be more of a puzzle game, but it's also going to have some strategy involved. And I've heard that the, um, what do you call it, balance is bar none. I mean, there's lots of different classes and stuff, but you know, we'll, we'll get into that when we get there. Uh, for now, we're just learning how to play. Okay, this guy's level 2. He's probably going to take a bit more to kill. Let's uh, smack him. Oh, ow, 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 you jerk. Um, I need to get some health back. But he's getting health back. Huh, okay, well, let's kill the zombie then. But, ow. Okay, so I think I'll get the strike first, and that'll kill him, and then I'll win. No, wait. It, it, it says next hit death right here where my, my, my mouse is. So let's let's uh, heal up and then we'll kill him. Okay, so that, that wasn't that wasn't how you do this. Okay, so let's uh, let's go forward with this, you know, do it right the first time. There's gonna be a lot of retries, all right? That's just how a game like this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna want to kill this goblin and then get some more health before I even see the zombie and then kill the zombie die die okay and as you can see I'm getting levels um I think yeah this is, that must be my exp I'm getting like one exp per fight or something um aha it's meat man um this is for being a, a reference to another game um I am level one uh, you know, level 1, I think I'm only 1 EXP from leveling, and just like most games when you level, full health, full health baby. So we're gonna, you know, smack this guy as much as we can. Uh, never mind about that, let's uh, let's just, you know, kill the zombie I guess. Uh, you know, let's get a little more health and then we'll kill the zombie. I'm gonna be messing up a lot, but you know, you've come to expect that from me, right? Okay, I leveled up, doubled my health, doubled my attack. That level 2 turd over there is going to get it now. Yeah, I totally just kicked him in the shins. Um, okay, so I'm guessing I'm some sort of merchant or whatever. And uh, I have no fighting experience whatsoever. I probably should have left that darkness. And um, these are glyphs, I think. And you pick them up and uh, they give you permanent increases. So I actually have mana, but I don't have any magic to use that mana with. So. Yeah, uh, increase of uh, damage. I could probably save these for later and get a better, bigger boost out of it because it was 10% as you saw, and 10% of a bigger number is a bigger number. But you know, whatever. Uh, what is this? Some sort of obelisk? Okay, I gotta, I gotta get this. Um, burn day ray, raz. 
uh, burned Aras? I don't know. Uh, burns your enemies for 4 points of magical damage per character level, slowing their regeneration. So, since I'm level 2, it'll do 8 damage? Yeah. Okay, so the hotkey is F. I'm gonna pick that mofo up. Okay, so... Huh. I could see the mobs from a distance. Um, they have severe magical, or physical resist. So, we're gonna use... We're gonna use... Burn Day Rays. Yeah, and I just hit F to do that. Um, you know, let, let's just smack him for the rest. Okay, gotta save some magic, you know? Um, oh, and I don't have enough magic to use uh, my other. Now I do. Burn! And I don't know, I'll just kill you manually, I guess. I'm only 4 EXP from leveling, and then things get a lot better. Ah, a magic potion. Um,. Let's go ahead and pick that up too. Yay! So, oh, wait, it's a health potion. Red is always health, you know that. Okay, where do I want to go from here? Because I have no idea where the mobs are. Hmm, hey, meat boy. Let's, uh, let's cook this meat. Yeah, now we can eat some fresh steak. Um, and then we'll just, uh, finish him regularly, I guess. Okay. See, that's why I wanted to use magic on him, just just cause. Um, I need to find my way out of here, though. And I have a feeling that I want to go up here, if possible. And it definitely looks possible. What is it? It's a magic potion. Now I can, uh, you know, drink it and get 40% of my total mana back. Guaranteed to taste awful. <laughs> Cures mana burn. Alright, that, that sounds awesome. Um... Ah, I want you again. Burn! And finish him off early. Level 3, level 3, level 3. Now I can kill everything in like one hit. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is getting ahead of me. Um, a Zombazom. He's gonna do like more than half my health on the next hit. You, you can see it over here. So if I hit him, I'll just do a little bit. Uh, let's see, what happens when I hit F? Okay, so I can burn him. And he won't be able to hit me. Yeah. Um. Hmm. He didn't like being burned. <sighs> but there's still no time to trade blows with him. Uh, oh, oh, what's this? Pendant of mana. More mana. Yeah, yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Okay. I have enough for another casting. Let's go ahead and burn him down. He's on fire some more. Ah, but I still don't like my chances of exchanging blows with him. So we're going to heal up. Unfortunately, he heals up too. In fact, I think he healed up all the way. Ah, why am I so stupid? Um, you know, we'll come back. We'll come back to you. I may, may have just sabotaged my chances of winning. May have. Um, this guy is magical. Does a ton of damage. Ooh, but this zombie isn't. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, maybe I can, ah, more health, more, yeah, 10 more health, that, that's a lot, give me, is there, yeah, there is something of a limit to what I can do here, because there's only four items, okay, um, I'm sorry Mr. Ugly Peasant Man, but, uh, I don't think we're going to make it out of here this turn, uh, or this time, rather. Okay, but I do have enough for two burnings, which is going to make him sorry he messed with me. Okay, now, now, I guess we'll just start exchanging blows. And I killed him. Okay, great. Uh, hey there, guy. Uh, let's go ahead and burn the blob, because he needs it. What's this? Sensation stone. A sensory stone that seems completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after a conversion process. What does that even mean? Uh, just pick, pick that up. Pick it up. Um, okay, what happens when I go here? Okay, just, it was just telling me to go there. Probably wanted me to kill the guy that was there. Oh, boy. Um, this will put me closer to leveling. 
And if I can get level 4, I think I might be able to kick his butt. So, mm, let's go ahead and kill him. Then we can heal up on some of this delicious darkness. Thank you for frying that in such good butter, guys. That was delicious. Um, oh, okay, I can practice on this level 3 guy. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and, uh, and I leveled up. And now what? Guess what? It's your turn. Um, okay, he's gonna do 24, so I can survive two hits. He can survive two hits. Uh, let's start off by burning him slightly so he doesn't get to hit me. Yeah, now I can just finish him off. Boom. Okay, cool. Excellent. This is all about a game of thinking about what you're doing and trying to be as conservative as possible. And as you know, I'm not very conservative when it comes to saving my stuff. I mean, I usually die in Resident Evil games because I'm out of bullets and such. Um, did I, I, didn't I start over here somewhere? Yeah, I started right here. Okay, never mind. Um, Meat Man, you've, I've had it with your shenanigans. It's, it's over. Wizard Man, you're over too. Okay, so I'm leveling up. I have a bad feeling about this. Bleat? Click to continue. Um, I have the Goatman DLC. I don't know if that matters at all, or if he's like the boss of this dungeon for me to get out. Yes, there are bosses at the end of these dungeons. Um, he gets to hit first. So no matter what, I better make sure I am able to kill him. Burn! And, yeah, so even though I killed him in that swing, he still get a, got a hit off on me. Which, frankly, is just rude. Okay, how much... How much, how, what level am I? I'm level 4. So each of the uh, burn day rays would do uh, 16 damage. This guy has 67. So I could probably do 32 bits of damage, then cha exchange blows with him until... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? He just wiped the floor with me. Um, if I can get another charge of burn day rays, that would be excellent. Um, Goat, what are you doing here? Oh boy. Um, yeah, let's burn the meat man. And then exchange blows. Level up. Now we are a tasty level 5. And that goat looks delicious. Mmm, delicious. I'm gonna eat you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Goat horn. This trophy is what you came here for. Grab it and let's go. Ah, uh, sure, in just a minute. Just a minute. Um, <laughs> my, my icon was so ugly, I thought that was another monster. No offense. Actually, I do kind of mean some offense. Okay, I'm going to loot the rest of this place. Even though, you know, we might find later that it's a little dangerous to do stuff like that. Aha! See? More loot. Um, gold will play an essential um, part of Team Captain later. You know, when we get back to town, and I'll show you all about what that's about. Okay, but as it is, this has been a great first episode of Desktop Dungeons. I'm hoping to make this kind of a thing. You know, no no promises there. Let's let's grab that goat horn. GTFO. And uh, congratulations on making it through your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about some things, we'd like to offer you the guided tutorials before plunging you into the full game experience. Otherwise, feel free to move on to the more complicated play scenario straight away. Uh, I want to play the tutorial, but I don't want to waste you guys' time. So we're going to go onward, and you know this is going to be awful, terrible, terrible success for us. The aftermath. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. If this fledgling settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. <laughs> All right. As the elected administrator of this rabble, it will go. It will be up to you to expand this settlement and recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. By the way, the music in this game, a touch of genius. I, I gotta say, I gotta love uh, uh, what what's his name, Kirkhope, Grant Kirkhope's um, work, as well as Danny Baranowski. Yeah, that guy. Most honorable administrator, I've been elected by the good people of this settlement to tell you what to do in order to tell everyone else what to do. 
<laughs> you may consider me advisor of sorts. So you're an advisor of advisors. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge together so far. That's not a whole lot. I just thought I'd loot a lot more than that. Your current task is ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. Click on the outpost over here. Yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. Upgrade this structure by clicking on the helpfully labeled button here. This will allow us to start recruiting our first available hero type, the fighter. He looks a little angry. That's good. I appreciate anger. Okay. Upgrade complete. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken your first tentative steps toward a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Under my guidance, they're gonna they're gonna shoot themselves in the face or something. Class unlocked fighter. Yes, there's lots of classes in this game, and it's gonna be awesome. I need thieves. Um, admirable, uh, admirable clicking and spending, noble administrator. Hey, it's what I do. You've just unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Excellent. Well, you know, I'm gonna have to say, oh, quest unlock trophy hunting. Administrator, our scouts have discovered some monster layers in the surrounding area. It is time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monster heads and or some souvenirs for a victory. Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry for butting in. We'll chat later. Uh, he looked like a, I don't know, a zombie? Anyway. This has been my first episode of Desktop Dungeons. Um, I can tell already that I'm going to enjoy it a lot. I hope you enjoy it a lot. And if you know you, you find that you find this game intriguing or interesting, go ahead and, ahead and pick it up. It's worth it. You know, right now it's $15. I've heard some people say that it's worth easily $60 because it's so addicting and fun. I will see you guys later. This has been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons. I will see you later.